In this video, we're in Prague and Helen and I on the last day of four nights in this absolutely unbelievable and beautiful city. But what did we love most about our time in Prague? It's coming up. things we love walking around Prague city centre is the amount of bars there are with that culture of all the tables and chairs and umbrellas outside where you can just sit down and have a cool beer. And then Helen just says we're going to be passing the sex machine shop in a minute. <laughs> well, I was just you know we're here, we're here for the culture. I just thought you might have wanted to go in. Take me over there, take me to the bar. Oh, take me to the bar driver and less of your <laughs> less of your impertinence. So this evening Helen and I are on this cruise boat, Prague, Prague boat, for a three-hour evening dinner cruise with a hot and cool puffy and entertainment. I cannot wait because I'm absolutely famished and it's gonna be absolutely beautiful on that river this evening. Well, that's it. We've just had a three-hour cruise and it was absolutely stunning. What did you think, Helen? Oh, it was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah, really lovely, lovely. You have to do it if you come here. You must do it's the must. River Dinner Cruise. Yeah. The food was fabulous. It was just a magical experience. Absolutely loved it and Prague is just... I can't... It's just something else, isn't I, it? I can't get over it. You know, just three hours on the river here. Stunning, absolutely stunning especially going underneath Charles Bridge with all the lights on the historical buildings. Even the lock. Even the lock the experience lock, as yeah, well, yeah. yeah. It's just something different, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah, Prague has to be one of the most beautiful cities you will ever visit. And you have to do this cruise. <laughs> uh, how much was it? 60, all for us. Well, we, we bought it, didn't we? We've got 10% yeah. off, we've got a window seat. It was £119 uh, for the two of us. Yeah, £60 each, roughly give or take mm -hmm. and yeah the food was delicious mm -hmm. I mean it's not cheap we're not saying it's cheap but it, it is worth it Value you do get what you for pay what for. you're getting for where yeah. you are what you're getting yeah. the quality of the food the quality of the service as well that you waited on hand and foot no complaints at all do it so earlier on Helen and I were sat in a, a lovely outside seating area at a cafe in the old town enjoying a lovely Flat white, taking in the, the atmosphere, people watching. Then a bird shit on us. <laughs> That's the last time I'm taking her out. If you come to visit Prague, you must go on a river cruise. We're on the one hour river cruise. I'll put the price on the screen somewhere. And it's just a 
fabulous we're about to be on. You know, Prague has, I think, 19 bridges over the river. What do you think, Helen? Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You must do the cruise. This city is just stunning. The history and the, the heritage, the architecture, the, the culture. So last night, when we arrived at the hotel, we walked down to the river and uh, we found this lovely seating area with a little cafe, restaurant. Beautiful, wasn't it? There was, a, there, was a, there was a girl with a guitar singing and we were right on the, the bank and there was pedlows all over the place. Beautiful, idyllic and... It's really cheap. Yeah. What else, apart from the river, have you loved about Prague? I loved about Prague, and um, I loved going on the top of the tower, the clock tower. this look at the view from the astronomical clock tower man and Helen's scared of heights but yeah you're getting braver aren't you <laughs> yeah. look at that man absolutely beautiful so if you come to Prague you have to come to the top of the astronomical clock tower because the views are absolutely spectacular and this tower is centuries old, I think about 600 years old. So I don't know if you can see very well, but that's the Prague Castle just over there. So the tour for the general admission is 300 coronas each, but we paid an extra 100 each to use the lift. I'm glad we did, because it's quite a, a lot of stairs to get to the top of here. Fat carpets, steak. That was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, we went to a, a restaurant called Fat Cats in the old town. Um, and I'm not only drawn to restaurants that have photographs of the meals outside because it sometimes means it's a bit tatty. Um, oh, but the meal, like the steak that come out, the, um, yeah. the steaks that we had that come out looked exactly the same as they did in the picture. The steak was about two inches thick. And it, and it seriously, for me, it was the best steak meal I've ever had in my life. Okay. I think as well, for me, what I love is uh, just the general feel of the like the, the vibe and the the atmosphere the culture just walking around Prague especially the old town there's a lovely feel about it it's just an assault on the the senses everywhere you look there's a somewhere where you can sit to have delicious drinks or delicious food little alleyways into beautiful courtyards with umbrellas where you can sit to ha have anything you want to it's just buzzing isn't it just it is buzz about buzzing it. Yeah, and if you're of the mind to want to experience concerts, you know, they have classical concerts. I think there's about, I think they said on one of our tours, there's about 200 theatres in Prague. It's just a, a cultural and historical buffet that has something for everybody. Something you need to try in Prague is their, what they call, it's their ice cream, it's like a, it's called a Tredlo, T-R-D-L-O, and absolutely beautiful i mean ice creams in the uk have got nothing on the ice creams on here it's like the cone is like a cinnamon roll if you like and they'll lash the whipped cream in mine have had fresh strawberries in absolutely delicious you've got to try it something else i think we really loved was going up to the castle which we got access to via the hop on hop off bus on the red line and you have to visit the castle it's such an an impressive and amazing structure. The attention to detail, just the beauty of that whole castle and surrounding grounds and buildings is something you have to see. Such an immense structure. And then after that, going down to the bottom end of the castle wall on the outside to see those beautiful gardens overlooking this magnificent city of Prague. Such a fantastic 
panoramic view of the whole city. I don't think I'll ever forget that. I don't think there'll be uh, many sights and views that you're going to experience like that anywhere in the world, so if you come to Prague, you have to go to the castle. So that's it, that's some of our favourite things here in Prague. The list isn't exhaustive, there's all sorts going on here. In a couple of hours' time, we're actually heading off to a Dungeons and Tunnel Tour, starting at 3 o'clock, two hours long, and I'm sure that's going to be one of our favourite things as well. So we'll finish off the video, leaving you with some glimpses of what the Tunnel Tour is like. And if you've been to Prague before, don't forget to let us know in the comments down below what you loved about visiting Prague. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more travel and adventure videos like this. And from me and Helen, catch you later. See you later.